We're back. Here's my brain cell gun. Whew. Well, now, we're going to discuss Cosmos. See your Cosmos? See the stars and planets? Round and round they go. And what time it is, they never know. In the cosmos, no one knows what time it is because it's just things spinning around each other in timing. I-N-G. The word time always has I-N-G on it. It means in relationship to each other in here. No one knowing what time it is. All running around each other. No idea of time. The dumbest conception they could ever take on. Realizing there's S-P-H-E-R-E-ical shapes running around and around, spinning and turning. What if they went the other direction for a while? Don't you think it's all wound up? What if you get this to turn the other direction for a while and unwind? Huh? Think it might be a nicer place to live? A little less temper from these employees driving it loony? The employees of this planet driving it absolutely screwball. Right. The place playing trampled to death with employment. One of the dumbest, and if I may use the French term, goddamn dumb ideas that ever happened. And any god of its salt would damn the idea of employment, wouldn't it? Huh? Any god that would back up and get to remarking about the truth with anything and talk to it in prayer. Do you think if you were talking to a real God, you would get lectured in prayer? In conception. Where you would have a picture in your mind of the truth. The truth is a picture. You can't get it from report. You can't get it from literature. You can't get it from testimony. You have to get it from pondering. All that kind of stuff and a lot more and remembering how life is really lived. I'm comparing any remarks to that. The one story of a mammal with a planet, a mammal creature called humanity. It's simple, easy to understand picture and story. And it doesn't have any of the bullshit motivating anyone around here today on the surface of this planet. None of them have an accurate picture of what living as a mammal on the surface of this planet is about. All with their heads straight where the sun don't shine, with a grudge in their rear end, chasing a windmill, all looking like Don Quixote, all in employment, all ravaging and jading the image of humanity to the new ones coming. How may God damn it possible to happen, right? Wouldn't any God of any salt damn the possibility of the living storyline being fed out of advertisement today to the human beings walking around the surface of this planet? Ah, what hideous bullshit, right? Thank God for a brain cell gun. <laughs> ah, shoots the, shoots it to death. Shoots anything where you look like a sitting duck to death. Brain cell gun. Shoots that image of yourself to death of a, image of a, shoot a, of a, like a duck in a gallery. They want everyone here to see themselves as a duck in a gallery. Nothing you can do about it. So you're just a duck in a gallery. Well, that's not correct. You've got the ability to cast a ballot, says none of the above, and cause a conversation, a backed up conversation, where you'll begin to testify to the truth. That's what Jesus was talking about, the truth. You have to do it in your own lifetime. You can't use anybody else's name. You don't have to appease yourself to a God as a sacrifice. It's all a bunch of horse shit. This crap going on here now. You're a mammal. You don't do any of that stuff. You testify to the truth among yourselves as a mammal. You have the wit of a mammaling creature. You're not a damn idiot. Are you? You're an android, a brilliant, a priceless thing. One time annual. And cosmos, you don't do a metamorphosis at all, do you? Do animals metamorphosis? Ah! Do they have an eternal soul? Ha! They live with a planet and generation and DNA that makes eternity look like a Slip or fall a banana peel. That's eternity. 
You got more destiny than anybody could add up. That's a plural word. Ah! And you trade currency and you'll never see money in the light of day. Money will never see the light of day. You run around here now. Here, come back here and see how I fill all the taxes. Let me see if I can get it back with my brain cell gun. Come on back here. Yeah, I got her with the old, the old brain cell gun. Call her back. Arr, laddie. Now, I haven't watched the time. I'm going to keep these short and run a bunch of them. Norman Woodstock Spalding, using his brain cell gun, talking to you tonight, this Saturday night, and Saturday evening chat. I'm the king of the Jews. I sit in my chair, my throne. This is my throne. And I cast lovely aspersions among humanity. Ah! I'm the softest hearted. I, Jews are the softest hearted people. Failing their position, of course. Failing their DNA. Jews are a pre-written script, the softest hearted ever. We like them. Ha! Ah, they just got caught like everyone else with their head up the rear. Yeah, we like Jews. They add a lovely um, savor to the soup. That's their job, savoring the soup. Yeah. They, they're ancestors from uh, <clears throat> everything prior to them. That's Hebrew. Everything prior to itself. Humans have uh, lived eight million years on a shin bone, and they're really crossing, crossbred, and they've pocketed themselves. Now they're inbred. Now here comes the crossbred. Getting involved with the inbred. It's going to be exciting. Here comes crossbred. Stir up old inbred. Inbred's having a problem right now. Human inbred caused a lot of problem. Huh? Syria's a shitty place, ain't it? Or somehow intelligence tilted. That uh, has an acronym called SHIT. Somehow intelligence tilted. That's Syria. And Libya. And Egypt. They, they, Egypt forgot how wonderful a place it is, huh? They forgot about Pharaoh. That's for damn sure. Nobody in Egypt thinks that's a nice place anymore. They're idiots. If you're an Egyptian, you're a moron, that's for sure. You sure showed that one. Yeah, United States. We treasure all those places that they don't respect themselves right now. Everything in the United States respects Libya and Egypt and Syria much more than anybody living there. They're idiots. They hate their own land. What a bunch of morons uh, poop on their own place like that. Idiots. Look at that guy, the leader of Syria. He's not, he can't lead anything. He's a monster. Huh? He's afraid to have a confession that he's a boom. Isn't everything walking on the surface of this planet right now a, a boob? I'm afraid to have a confession? Would a confession make peace a dumb idea? Huh? Isn't peace a dumb idea when you got confession? That makes peace look pretty stupid to me. Confession puts you to work doing something lovely. That's what you need. Go to work doing something lovely. Be damn peace. Let's see if I can get out of here.